As electrical connectors continue to miniaturize, we've seen an increase in interest for automated handling and feeding of much smaller contacts. Naturally, these smaller contacts present unique machining and design challenges as opposed to larger ones. This particular contact not only has a small one millimeter diameter, but is very long with respect to its diameter. More importantly, you'll notice the lack of any convenient mechanical feature, such as the collar on this larger pin, that would allow us to easily orient and transport them to a feeding mechanism. That's where we come in. Normally, we will design systems to, automat to take loose contacts and orient them in whatever direction they need to be and automatically present them to crimping or insertion mechanisms on a full system. However, in this case, our customer contacted us because they already had an existing system developed by a low bid overseas manufacturer to take the pins, orient them pin forward, and then present them to a pick and place robot which would do the actual insertion. Unfortunately, the orientation and feed mechanism for this had proven to be highly unreliable, making not only their entire investment in the machine at risk, but causing them significant production problems and delays at the same time. For this reason, we were contracted in order to repl replace the feed and orientation system with something more reliable. This is easy for us because we actually do all of our designing and machine manufacturer in-house, which allows us to ensure the quality and reliability of the design at every step of the build process. So how does our system work? First, loose contacts are put into the vibratory bowl system. The bowl driver, when activated, causes the bunched contacts to climb up these ramps to this singulation point. The singulation point will dump most of the bunched contacts, allowing individual contacts to proceed forward. The contacts then proceed forward to our orienter. This orienter design forces the contacts to fall solder cup first into the slot, regardless of whether they arrive at the slot solder cup forward or pin side forward. The pins then fall into one of our zigzag magazines. This magazine keeps the pin horizontal as it fills the magazine, preventing it from tipping forward and jamming the system. This magazine has a fiber detect unit on it in order to stop the bowl from vibrating automatically once the magazine is full. As the machine runs, the pins fall to a shuttle at the bottom of the magazine, which picks them off one at a time and puts them into the blow section, at which point they are blown through this tube and emerge point forward at the end. So now let's see the machine in operation. We're going to cycle it uh, a couple of times and show the individual parts as they work. Notice the pins coming out point forward. The bowl automatically starts once the fiber detects that the magazine is not completely full.